Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you an unboxing and a review of the Evenpo E3 Plus Mini Touchpad Keyboard. It's a long title but the short answer is this little keyboard not only works as a keyboard but you can turn off all the keys and use the entire surface as a touchpad. So it's really nice, very small and it has its own cable to be able to charge it up. So let's go ahead and check it out and see how good this thing works. The box is very simple. Again, in the past, I reviewed for you guys the E3 standard model, so this is what it looked like. Um, I like the form factor. The form factor didn't change, but what we did change here is that now the keys that we see here are all transparent, so they're actually lit from behind the glass. So we'll get a chance to check out some of the main benefits here. Again, this is the E3 Plus. Uh, they show it to you here, so it looks blank when it's off. And when you're using it in touchpad mode, when you're using it as a keyboard mode, the keyboard pops up. The box includes the transmitter as we had it before. So as long as you're able to plug this into the back of a unit uh, using a USB connector, you should be able to use this. Uh, we have a USB type A to micro USB to be able to charge this device. Instruction manual, very simple. Uh, there really isn't much to actually learn about this other than the fact that this is going to be a really fun keyboard to use. Uh, looking on the actual uh, back that comes with it, it explains to you a few of the functionalities. Be able to switch between keyboard mode and touch mode using this button. We have the LED light on the side, but you have the ability of using the thumb down and the gesture to be able to go to directional position. Three finger swipe between tasks on your Windows PC, zoom, pinch and zoom, pinch in, pinch out. Um, the enter and the escape functionality, one touch directional, two touch, cl two clicks uh, to go to hide mouse functionality, and then scroll screen up and down. Very simple and very easy. Now, taking the actual unit out, you'll notice what I was trying to explain. Uh, the actual unit itself is almost look like it's entirely black, but you can almost kind of see a little bit of writing right there. It's very reflective. Uh, turning it on, it will no we'll notice the light turned on. It's looking for a receiver. And if I turn it on right here, you could see the actual light. Now, it doesn't look that good on this glass and in, uh, in this light because I have a lot of studio lights right now. But I can assure you, if I turn it off, you can see how it looks. Uh, it's very clear and very easy, and you're actually able to hold and change the actual brightness. So you can go dim light turn it on and then turn on to uh, the, uh, the little sound here. And we'll get into that in a few seconds. Looking over the aesthetics, we have a volume rocker up and down here that will control the volume on your device. So this will be your PC or your, uh, let's say your uh, Nvidia Shield TV. Uh, here, this is on and off, so you can turn on. You'll get that little audible uh, feedback. Right and left click, if you're using this in keyboard mode, this functions as your right click and left click built in. Uh, battery percentage level as well as Bluetooth connect, uh, well, connectivity level. So this is going to be connecting directly to this dongle connected to the back of a PC. There's no pairing, nothing. You plug this in, you turn this on, you're ready to go. On the bottom, three, uh, sorry, the micro USB charger. On the back, we don't have much. It just says basically Evenpo uh, Mini Wireless. It does say E3 here, even though this is the E3 Plus, uh, but I can assure you this is different than what we had last time. On the left, nothing. On the top, nothing. Um, and of course, again, those are the buttons. I went ahead and connected it to my uh, PC. It, this will work with your Mac. Uh, the main thing you want to mention here, you want to look at here. So if I do the three swipes up, it brings up everything home. I'm um, sorry, we'll do three swipes up and it brings up all the windows and I can actually select the window. I want to go here. I want to just close this up. Very simple, very easy. You guys could see here the mouse pad is extremely friendly. Uh, going three swipe pups again. So we'll go back here one more time. You can switch between the different applications. So you notice right here, so I can press and switch. Let's go back to the website and I can go back to the pictures and then I can swipe and start going between the pictures. If I want to zoom in, zoom out, pinch, uh, doing a pinch and zoom, you can notice right there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a very nice picture there. And of course you can just touch base and then we can go in and start switching over. And we can see the different pictures here. Uh, and of course we can swipe back up, go back into the window, very, very nice. And I'm gonna go to YouTube and I'm gonna switch over now to the keyboard mode. Again, all you have to do here is press this little button. Once you press that, you'll, you can see it right there. The keyboard did kind of come up uh, and I can control the, the lighting on this. So you can, you can go very, very bright or very, very dim. I'm gonna keep it very bright for me here because the room is very lit. Uh, and I'm gonna say, just, I'm gonna look for TK. And then I'm going to say enter. Uh, there is a way of turning off the sound. It does have a little bit of a sound. You notice right there. And I personally don't like that. So I just disable that. So by pressing function, hitting the speaker, it turns off the sound. Function also gives you access to the function keys and all the other shortcuts. The direction pad, you just have to hold it and move your finger and it'll move in that direction. Uh, let's go back into touchpad mode because we were in position here. And let's go ahead and we're going to open up the video. And here I can control the volume. I like to get my hands on technology in shape or form as far as mobile and 
Very simple. So here I have my NVIDIA Shield TV. Uh, this is connected to a 4K TV and I went ahead and plugged it in. I'm gonna turn on uh, the little mouse here so you guys can see it right there. Uh, it does work, it works perfectly and you can select, you'll notice right there. Hey guys, and uh, you can actually go ahead and select. Now I'm trying to do this one-handed, but going back, pressing the escape takes you back into the home screen. Again, it works very simply. Uh, you can use it as a keyboard, you can use it as a direction pad. Uh, all the functionalities will work uh, similar to the normal, let's say you've plugged in a keyboard to the back of this. Uh, but the main benefit of course is that we have a touchpad and a keyboard at the same time. But as you guys saw, it's very simple, very easy. The fact that it has its own transmitter makes it very simple to connect. You just plug it in, use it, you're pretty much set to go. It'll work with Android TV, PC, Mac, very versatile, no drivers really needed to be installed. Uh, the main thing you wanna make sure obviously is charge it up when you get it out of the box. As I, when I first took it out of the box, it did not have enough charge. As usual, like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support. And again, links in the description below if you'd like to check this out and get one for yourself. This is TK, I'll see you guys in the next video.